The most famous motorcycling event in the world takes place in the Isle of Man. Ask any group of Manx men what TT stands for, and you won't hear a single teetotal or tubercle intestine. Just a loud chorus of tourist trophy. Every year, shiploads of competitors and spectators come over from the mainland and descend on Douglas. At other times of the year, Douglas is a small, quiet market town. One horsepower can pull a whole tramload of people, but no motorcycle enthusiast would thank you for a one horsepower motorbike. He likes to feel a good few horses tucked away in the chunk of metal between his knees. The TT mountain course is 37 and 3 quarter miles around, and the riders must lap it six times. Each lap, they make 107 left-hand bends and 112 right-handers. Here, the competitors are practicing and getting used to the course. Now they're down to serious business. There are half a dozen hump bridges on the course, and this one at Balor demands first-class riding skill to negotiate the right-hand bend immediately after landing. This is the junior TT race, won by Hart, number 12. Ramsey is the island's second largest town, and the course leads through Parliament Square. Round the course again to Braddon Bridge. This section demands rapid acceleration in low gears and is a great test of skill. At the end of Sulby Strait, world champion John Surtees breaks hard to negotiate the bridge. Others are hot on his tail. Now it's time for the senior event, for machines of up to 500cc. Surtees is out to avenge his defeat by Hartle in the junior event. Here is Hartle. Surtees. Rowbottom. The first pair are Brown of Australia and Anderson. Number 11 is Hartle and number 12 Phyllis of Australia. The leaders gather speed as they tear towards Braddon Bridge with its demands of low gear work and rapid acceleration. Coming down the hill at Craignabar, the riders must brake hard to reduce speed from 140 to below 40 miles per hour for the right-angled corner. Seven miles gone at the last lap, and they come to the fast corner at Ballacrain and then onto Ballack Bridge. For 226 miles, they've been battling it out over the zigzag mountain course, climbing to 1,400 feet and dropping down again to sea level. For 30 miles of the course, they've had their brakes hard on. Yet, the winner's average speed is 102.44 miles per hour. And John Surtees is winner of the TT Senior Event for the third time in succession. 300 riders during practice and races covered 100,000 miles over this mountainous course at speeds reaching 140 miles per hour. And yet, there wasn't one serious accident. 